Welcome back, guys. It's Vengeance Hero, and you are joining me for part two of In Sound Mind. We are going to jump right in. It has been a little bit since I've played this game, so forgive me. Um, it, it might take a little bit to uh, remember the, the buttons and remember what we were doing. Um, <clears throat> I ended up taking a bit of a hiatus just because I had uh, Martha's Dead to play through. Okay. Uh, so we have finished Martha's Dead. Um, that was a six part video and was absolutely incredible. Oh my God. Stop it with that bullshit. Come on. Give me the give me the doll. Come here. We got it. Three dolls left. Let me out of here. Shit, man. Shit. Jesus. Against West Wing. No one is picking up. Upon arrival on the scene, the suspect had already self-inflicted a stab wound to her abdomen and a fatal wound across her neck. Paramedics were called and police tape was used to seal off the crime scene for investigation. The suspect was identified as Miss Virginia Rule, who apparently had issues being seen in public and or seeing her own reflection. She was pronounced. Hello? Determination. I have to admit, to stab yourself in the gut and still have enough determination to pull out the glass and slice your own throat open. God damn. I just want to stand up and give her a round of applause. Jesus. Okay, I see no other reason to stay in here. You are here. Behind the refrigeration units. Okay, uh, there we go. So unlock and get to the toys area. Three dolls left through the washer to mirrors, one left, collect all pills in Homo Mart. Uh Okay. So at this point we are actually gonna head up there. Um we're looking for some some dolls, which we will get there eventually. Uh, crouch. What do we have here? Maybe later. Okay. So we've got three pills left. So this really isn't, um, I guess not supposed to be the way we're, we're heading. Um, I guess it's what they would consider a secret area. Oh, Jesus Christ. Holy hell, man. Okay, that, that scared the shit out of me. I'm not used to actually seeing people. So when the dude was standing right there, I might have crapped. Uh, clearly my reflex was just to attack him or try to attack him. And we got the mom doll. Oh, be cool. Okay. He's locked us in here. Oh, yeah. He locked us in here and he's turned on the... Uh... No way. I'll lose my hand. Uh... Not what they do put in my hand through this. Okay. Uh... Maybe... Push this thing? Can't push it. I'm not putting my hand through this. Okay. Are we looking for something that we can shove in there? It's 
the door. Thank you. Not cool, dude. I actually thought we were gonna have to cut our own hand off. Intentionally cut our hand off. We're just heading back here for the uh, HP. side it's with the music oh god what are you hps some hps i actually kind of forgot that there were guys in this Okay. Is that where we go? Is that where we should be going? Hey! Get fucked, you loser. Oh, this guy is creepy. He's kind of like a Slenderman type of guy. Okay, so now we have a bunch of places that we can go. This is... Oh, somehow we're back. I need a coin. Yeah, we don't have any coins. Um, I'm almost making dinner, but now she's in the freezer. It's a small rounded slot. We got the boy. In the attic. Awesome in there. I think. Okay, so we got a shortcut to get back out here. Uh I'm gonna head this way. In a way I was kind of sad that I, you know, I I the other side. Stop playing this so that I could play Martha's Dead. Um, because I really enjoy this game. Yo, the gate keeps getting stuck shut. Has to be some sort of electrical malfunction. In any case, remember that forklift trick I showed you. Do that. Just be careful. The forklift trick. Probably crash it. Yeah, we don't have that. I get you. Maybe after the forklift trick? Okay, so I think there's no... No way we're going to be able to do that until we find the key. I should stay away from this. Uh, I haven't tried shooting any of these things yet.
Though I could. Let's have a look and see if it does anything. There's something. Oh, some ammo? Ammo. Nothing in that one. It's good to know that we can actually uh, destroy those things, so. Okay. So. Pretty confident we can't do anything. No hint as to where the key is. bit of a loss. The warehouse is blocked. It's just the way back. Nothing is free, including this key. Oh. I need a coin. You got the key, okay. So... Where am I gonna get a key? I think... I think I already read this. Most of the new toys were lost in the crash. I'm keeping this area sealed and covered until we get the new collection. Don't go in there. It's currently being used as storage. There are unopened boxes and a mirror in there. Honestly, creepy bad vibes. Okay. I'm pretty sure we already, already got that. So I need... We did the electronics. What is that over there? Shoot. I don't know if I can get to this last mirror. I'm afraid of me. Where is she? Next, oh, she's over there. Okay. Okay. Oh, shit. Ah! Oh, God. She got me. So there's one, one till that I haven't done yet. 
399. It's an item scanner. It's the item scanner. I need a 99 cents. This one is 50 cents. Oh, oh. okay, dollar 99. I must have just forgotten to do that or something. I don't know. That looks like a mirror over there. Where the hell is that mirror? Okay, we're just about maxed out again. Oh, shit. Ah! No. It appears that there is a mirror very close, but really not. Can't quite get there. Back over there. <sighs> we gotta bump up our stamina. We got the key. Lovely. We did it. We did it, guys. It's the ignition key lock. See you later. Ooh. And then I suppose what we would do is... I wonder if I can climb up on this thing. I can. We got the, uh, another set of pills there. Our boy is... Too much for one man. Blood Hello? In aisle four. Blood in aisle yeah, that's probably my Somebody blood. Get a mop and maybe a better therapist. <laughs> oh, man. Rude. Thinks we're not capable of doing our job? Is that what he thinks? Uh oh. Oh god. Oh no. Yo! Ah! He's coming! Fuck! Oof. Y'all yeah, see that shot? Just boom! Pop, pop. The dad doll. Okay, so we got one doll left. A little bit of a maze in here. Okay. This must be the warehouse door that was blocked. Yep. 
and then loading the door that was also docked, uh, locked, docked. Uh. Okay, so we've got those doors open. Bit of a shortcut. Check out in here first. Ooh, all kinds of goodies. Detect and all, increase your stealth every three pills. Dead at the scene, she's pronounced dead at the scene, so this is the other half of the uh, coroner report, or police report, I suppose. Taking statements from co-workers and shoppers, it seems Miss Rule had a panic attack which resulted in the accidental breaking of a mirror due to the mishandling of the situation by people around her at the time. A quick escalation resulted in Miss Rule taking her own life using a shard of broken mirror glass. There's no evidence of foul play, though I suspect she might have been in relations with a staff member named David. We'll go back for questioning. What was it you wrote in her file? Patient was encouraged to establish routine errands that would put her outside. Wow. No wonder her mother blames you. Shit. So we basically told her to get out of the house a little bit more. She probably had uh, agoraphobia or something like that. Hey! Uh, and we kind of indirectly maybe caused her death seemingly she just had a straight up panic attack okay i think we got all the dolls now oh fuck How dramatic. She did call herself trash. I don't know why you're so surprised. Oh no. Oh no. What's going on? Right. Suppose we can go this way. There we go. Okay, Dad would sleep in all day by fire, by fire, by fire. Okay. It's a small rounded slot. And me, I'm fine, I'm good, then crash. Me, I'm fine, I'm good, then crash. Oh god. That was the day. She pulled the mirror off its hinges, putting on her mother's makeup. The taste of blood and lipstick stayed in her mouth until the very end. Oh god. This is really pretty, but... Terrifying also. T block. It's a yellow block with the letter T on it. I'm gonna pop all the damn balloons. Oh god. H block, purple block with the letter H on it. Uh, let's go back here quick. Okay. A block. D block. Hello. Ah, E block. So it's good that we're popping all of them shits. 
Okay, so this is back to where we were. something in here. This seems correct, but something with the reflection is wrong. Show. Oh, it's supposed to spell death. Creepy, but nothing happened. Yo. <laughs> okay, so D E This seems correct, but something with the reflection is wrong. Does it matter how we set them down? This seems correct, but something with the reflection is wrong. This seems correct, but something with the reflection is wrong. What is wrong? Hmm. I can put something in here. is wrong. Okay, so what am I missing then? We've got it exactly as it shows in there. I mean, other than there. Correct, but something with busted the up the damn wrong. robot. Hey, Maybe it's not death, maybe it's hated? Ooh, yep. It is. Come here, you fucker. She coming? She wanted to die only Okay, here we go. Only someone as selfish as you would try and take that away from her. I'm glad to see you failed.
Ay. It's okay. I see you. You can rest now. Dang. That art. The art is really nice. I don't think Virginia would be capable of doing something like this without some sort of outside influence. I promise you, Miss Rule, I'll get to the bottom of this. And then there's a door here. There's one pill left. Y you know we gotta try and find it. That could be it over there. We're gonna see if that's... Hmm. How do I get there though? That's the question. That's the million dollar question here. It's like underneath though. It is below us. Turn off the power. Had mentioned a boy I saw him on the evening news he said she was always a little crazy we just didn't know what to what end shoot okay so I think I think what we were seeing in our mirror was that mm, there must be something else maybe you can't see those secret items with the mirror That doesn't look like... Doesn't look like, um... An item to me. It looks like a mirror's... The door, maybe? To get out of here? You know what? Forget it. We are gonna head out. We're gonna go home. Just gotta find out how to get back there. I'm pretty sure I did a good job of checking all of these, so... I don't think I missed any secret items in here. Quick peek. using our flashlight a quite a bit storage room how do we get in there can we get in there so I feel like maybe that's where we're supposed to there's no key though 
No keyhole there. Hmm. Who the fuck did that? Pretty sure we also looked at all of this stuff pretty closely. I mean, there's a lot of shelving units to look through. Note. Is that another note? All right. We were close to to hundred percenting it, but that's okay. We are going to exit this first level and uh, move along into the uh, next part of the game. I well, soon, anyways. Looks like we're back. Outside. I think I'm ready now. We can talk about the scars. My face. If you'd like, yes. I appreciate you not asking me about them. I mean, I do see you looking at them. Everyone does all the time anyway. I'm listening. anything there. When I was a kid, my mom, she used to sign me up for like, little miss whatever the hell, you know, like these beauty pageants. For this one, I was practicing at home, and I was in the bathroom just playing with, like, some of my mom's makeup, and, and then I... Uh, sorry. Take your time. I just slipped. I don't know. I lost my balance, and I grabbed the mirror cabinet, and the whole thing just fell apart. I hate her. My mother. She made me go anyway. Made you go where? Out. To the pageant. To school. Everywhere. With a busted up face and stitches. She's a monster and a liar. She told me I was still pretty. She said people wouldn't judge me. Guess what? Yeah, they people did. are fucking terrible though. Back at them with hatred. <laughs> I hate her. I hate everyone. I understand. Stop looking at me. People are definitely terrible. They will find the smallest smallest issues and and yeah i don't know luckily there's not as much bullying i don't well maybe there is maybe there's more bullying now than when i was in school but i feel like kids now are more accepting like my son is 13 and uh he's got friends that are already um very different people 
and he's very accepting of it and I don't think they do a whole lot of bullying in their school so I don't know but generally people are kind of mean a patient named Virginia rule age 25 diagnosis personality dis disorder NOS trauma from past injury circumstances of treatment patient began treatment as a mandated disciplinary measure in college roommates expressed concern possible suicidal ideation patient would hide in her room for fear of judgment over her personal appearance Personal history as a child patient was entered into pageants by her mother, Gemma Rule, during which time she su suffered verbal abuse relating to her appearance and performance. An accident took place in which a bathroom mirror had collapsed on a six-year-old Virginia, leaving her scarred, ending pageant participation. Psychological notes, patient suffers from the constant notion of judgment from others stemming from pageant participation compounded with an accident which resulted in facial disfigurement and an unsupportive home environment. Patient internalized this to an extreme degree, retaining a strong aversion to public spaces for fear of being judged. Patient will look in mirrors, often lashing out in anger at those who she perceives as judging her. Patient would in was encouraged to establish routine errands that would put her outside when her local grocery store closed down. Thanks to retail competition from the Homa Mart Superstore, patient had to alter her routine by picking up food in a much more crowded place. Heightened sense of anxiety as of late, increased sense of an unknown dread and fear beer so I'm having a rough time so what's next get the gas mask from the boiler room oh shit Jasmine, darling Whoa. Who said that? My damn cat. I, I did, of course. Oh my god, the cat uh, is actually talking. You can talk now? I mean, you could argue that I always could, and you just didn't care to listen. Look, let's not waste any more time on how unbelievable this all may be and tackle the situation at hand. You are going to die, Desmond, if you do not get to the bottom of all this madness. Simply, you must keep a level head and find a way through this. I will help you as best as I possibly can. Now, concentrate. You might have some answers. I, I, I don't know. This is weird. Patience, Desmond. Patience and grace. Patience? But my patience? Don't you find it curious? You can enter Virginia's apartment and she doesn't even live here. Something strange is happening. You would benefit from knowing We're losing our damn mind is what it is. It sounds like a plan. Okay. We're gonna go explore the building. See you soon. Uh, now that we have the glass, we have access to additional things to do. Very cool. No, thank you. No, thank you. I don't need health. All good. What's going on up here? It's emitting a faint hum. Whack it. it. Looks like some sort of a radio device. Okay, so there's obviously going to be a way to deactivate those at some point. But that point is not right now. Let's go look around a little bit. That is our apartment. Go in there.
Okay, so I don't remember which floor we're on. Two, okay. So we'll go down to one, check out the first floor, and then I guess the gas mask is in the basement, so we're gonna have to go there, but we'll just have a quick look around. See if there's anything going on here. Can't take another bite. So far we've learned that change is inevitable. You either get with the times or the world changes without you. Wait a minute. What the hell is going on here? Okay. Things are starting to get a little bit weird here. Do we want to go in here? Guess we might as well. Oh. Alan's. Alan's home. Okay. I'm good. I'm good. Lots of HP in here. Alan's tape, okay. Doc Wales told me to write, so I'm writing even though I don't want to write. What I want to do is scream at people. A woman by the lighthouse to today told her meathead boyfriend I was looking at her funny and he punched me in the gut. I wish I could bury both of them in the ground. I'm so mad I'm seeing red. Lovely. There's unnatural darkness here. Okay, so we can't go there. Getting the fuck out of here. We got Alan's tape. Let's go. Okay. So that is Alan's house. These are just puddles for no reason here. God, this place is getting bigger and bigger. I'm good. I mean, that makes sense that everything is expanding outwards, but pill popping boomer. Oh, this place is big. Okay. It has a small coin slot. Don't have any coins. What the? Never be safe again. Yeah. So we can't go in there. What do we have here? Battery. Okay, this place is just very ginormous.
Yes, I'm aware of the lights flickering in this section of the floor. It'll be fixed when I can get a hold of our electrician, Gary. Until then, please don't try and light the hallway yourself. No candles, no fires, no flare guns. Be patient. Oh, maybe a flare gun. What do we want? Ah, so we can find coins and then we'll need probably four coins, I guess, in order to collect all of the pills from that vending machine. There's a vent there. Can't get there just yet. Last night, Milton Havner's welcomed the new, new year in style with a raucous party in the town square that included fireworks, line dancing, and a musical performance by the town choir. At the top of the evening, Mayor Barry Vaughn gave his annual address. Thanks to big players like Mayor Pharmaceuticals and Homa Mart reinvigorating our local market, 1997 is going to be our best year yet. He declared to a cheering crowd of hopeful townsfolk. Reception back room. There's our vent. Oh, got another coin. What year is it? No. Couple of coins? What year is it? What year is it? What year? Nineteen ninety seven. Let's give that a try. Let's see if that works. Oh, baby. We got this, we got this. Steel, there's a steel function? What can we steal? Okay, so... Got... What the fuck was that? It has a small coin slot. I'm gonna go for green this time, since I'm one away from maxing that out. We've got level two speed, and uh, all right. Listen to Alan's tapes. Get the gas mask from the boiler room. Okay, I think we've 
done fairly well. Wait, we haven't come down this way, have we? Or I, no, no, we didn't. Ventilations. I'm all right. Okay. So we can't want to step any closer. Can't get through that stuff yet. Okay, I think this is... Oh, sweet. It's blocked from the other side. Not bad. Got increased health now. Uh, okay, so we can't go that way. I don't think we've gone over here yet. We're gonna check this out. Or maybe we have. Maybe this is... Oh, yeah, this is Virginia's apartment, but we can actually do some different stuff in here. Now that we have, uh... Now that we have the mirror, we can do some stuff. Don't stay in bed. for a mirror it's locked so there's a key is the key in here or is it somewhere else completely we've read all of this stuff in the first episode I'm thinking we just can't get the key yet. Probably find it somewhere else. Okay, we're gonna go to the basement. And see if we can grab the gas mask at this point. Okay, so we can go in there now. All of, I wish the notes would disappear after you've read them. That would be helpful. Enduramin. Free stamina. Okay, so we can't go through there yet. This is the boiler room. Gas mask. I'll have to hold it. Help with the gas.
That is super cool. I really love the mechanics in this game. Totally awesome. Okay, that's the boiler room. So I'm gonna go back in some of these existing areas. So we already built the gun. I wonder if there's other things that we're gonna be able to build at some point. me, man. Anything in here that's different that we can do? Mm, doesn't look like it. Okay, so we can go up to our our office, I suppose. We didn't check our apartment. But that's okay. Um, I feel like there's probably nothing in there. Ah, Alan Shore, the one-man freak show, who made all your other patients seem well-adjusted by comparison. From the first moment he stepped into your office, Yikes, okay. Might as well check out our place. See if there's anything in here that's changed. Probably not. The guitar is just playing itself. We don't have a key for our own place, so that's fine. Nothing in here. Is there a link between Virginia and Alan? I wouldn't rule it out. I guess I'm about to find out. Be careful, Desmond. Here we go again. Don't be gone too long. WTF, mate. Holy shit. What is happening? Okay, looks like it's about 11.45. We are in Alan's tape. Probably going to uh, just hit the next save point and then we'll, uh, okay, we'll cut the episode off. Thank you for agreeing to be recorded. Oh, um, should I just start talking? What do you want to know? Uh, what made you decide to seek counseling? Oh, man, Doc, it's, it's just weird. 
As in, I feel weird, like, like I'm weird all the time, you know? I'm not saying this right. People think I'm weird, and it's cool I am, but I, I shouldn't feel weird, right? How exactly do you feel weird? Off, odd, slightly tilted. I, I've had these nightmares ever since I can remember. I've always had these horrific dreams I can't explain. And they recur, man. Like, there are themes in them that keep coming back. And uh, honestly, Doc, it's been such a constant that I shape my life around them, you know? Have you ever seen anyone about these recurring nightmares? Like a shriek? Like you? No. Honestly, for the longest time I thought it was normal life to wake up sweating, to see things in the dark, frightful things. Why would you think that's normal? <laughs> that's, that's very not normal. What is it that frightens you out? See, that's the thing I don't get. My, my whole life, I could feel the presence of shadows. I could hear sorrow in the dark. It's poetic, man. I know. I, I got so used to being paralyzed by dread that I, I began to like it. And people notice, you know, I, I, I say weird stuff sometimes, I guess. At some point, I just decided to live comfortably in this reality, maintaining a beacon of light over a sea of darkness, alone, Brave. But I'd be lying if I didn't admit to being swallowed by darkness or, or sink into the depths. It makes me feel alive, man. It's electric. Okay. I feel like you are not completely crazy. I feel like a lot of people enjoy the, like they almost have comfort in their own misery. All right. We are going to cut the episode off here. It's been, I'm thinking probably about an hour, maybe even more. There is a dude up there. I'm not sure what he is doing. He's creeping me the fuck out. I know that. Um. Like I said in the first episode, this game is actually incredible. Um, I thought it was only on PC, but I actually saw it in the store uh, for, I think, P I'm pretty sure it was PS5, um, which I didn't realize it was a console release as well. Um, so for, the, for those of you who don't have a gaming PC, um, you might want to pick it up on PS5. Uh, it's a little bit of a cheaper game, I think around 40 bucks Canadian. Um, but so far it's actually really incredible. So I'm highly going to, I'm, I'm definitely recommending this. Um, I mean, I guess we could see it could take a drastic turn and become absolute crap, but I highly doubt it at this point. Uh, I have not been bored with it at all. Um, so in the next episode, we are going to continue on in this tape. Um and see where it leads us. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. I really am. Um, thank you so much to all of my subscribers. Um, as always, just a reminder that uh, that I, I, it, you gotta put your um, subscription privacy settings to public. If they are not set to public, I cannot see you. So then when we go to do giveaways, you're not gonna show up in my list of subscribers and I have no way of tracking you. So definitely make sure to do that check out the next video make sure you like subscribe hit notifications so you don't miss out on any of the future content and as always guys i will look forward to seeing you in the next one